Hi, welcome everyone. We are here today to be part of our Values Formation Seminar entitled Revitalizing Student Personal Values of Virtual Learning and Development through Transformative Student Services. So I am Cherry Ardita, your main campus nurse, and I will be your host for today. So um, just a dental reminder before we start our session, please mute, um, use your microphones to avoid any interruptions and to facilitate the smooth flow of our program. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the presence of our college administrators and professors this afternoon. On behalf of the offices of the Student Affairs and the Office of the College President, we thank you for supporting this activity. So let's go ahead and start with our opening preliminaries. May I call on, on Mr. John Murillo, the OIC head of the Office of the Student Affairs ID campus to lead the prayer. So this will be also followed by the national anthem, the Spinas theme in our DFCAM CLP hymn. Thank you. Let us all bow our head and put ourselves into the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day and for making it possible for all the participants to join in this webinar. Thank you for sending us our resources speaker today to share their knowledge to us. Lord Jesus, be with us today as we start the school year within, with this wonderful learning for our dear students. Guide everyone present in this webinar to fully understand whatever our speaker would share to us. May we be able to extend the outcome of this to others as we live day by day. We pray that you protect all our families and end this pandemic so that we can all go back to the normal way of living. Please heal all who are suffering physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. We ask this in your name, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Why am I
us to serve our motherland. From thy portals we gain our strength, in thy whole way since our knowledge, your beauty as inspiration, and your caring for our courage. Oh, from college, oh, our alma mater, with your guide, thy peace, we will never suffer. Oh, from college, oh, our alma mater, our pathway to success. Together we will conquer. Nothing but tears of happiness as we march on to victory. Will our hearts beat? Will our soul glow with the colors of our memory? Oh, start the program, may I call on Dr. Raymond B. Magno, Vice President for Academic Affairs for his work. Magandang araw. Sa ating Pangulo ng Kolehiyo, Gilang Eugenio B. Guerra, sa aking kapopisyalis ng paaralan, mga profesor, mga magulang, at higit sa lahat ang ating mga mag-aaral, magandang buhay sa inyong lahat. Aking kinalulugod at kinagagalak na kayo'y muling nakadalo sa ating webinar session na mayroong pamagat revitalizing students' personal values a virtual learning and development through transformative student services which aims to, o naglalayon na, una, maipakita ng, ang kahalagahan ng wastong pag-uugali sa pagbuo ng isang mabuting mamamayan, mapalalim ang kagandahang asal, wastong pag-uugali at disposisyon sa buhay. At pangatlo, maitimo at maikinta ng kagandang asal tulad ng paggalang, pagtanaw ng utang na loob, at pagkakaroon ng malasakit sa ating kapwa. Ayon nga kay Felipe Landa Hucano, isang antropolohista, na nagwika na kung ano ang natutunan mo sa iyong pamilya, ito rin ang iyong makikitang kilos at ugaling ipinapakita mo sa ating kapwa at higit sa lahat, ito ang iyong pinapakita sa ating lipunan. Naway ang webinar series na ito ay maging isang instrumento ng pagbabago sa ating lahat at sa ating lipunan. Mula sa 1,970 na mag-aaral ng main campus at 661 students o mag-aaral mula sa IT campus na mayroong kabuang 2,631 na mag-aaral at mahigit 80 profesor, Amin kayong malugod na tinatanggap sa webinar session na ito. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Dr. Magno. And now to inspire us and set the mood for this uh, webinar, may I call on Professor Eugenia V. Guerra, our OIC president, to give her inspirational message. Good afternoon, everyone. To our guest speakers this afternoon, Pastor Buboy and Ma'am Mili, to all our professors, our college employees and personnel, our officials, our beloved students, good afternoon. This is a very significant day for all of us. Significant in the sense that this is the first time ever 
that our clients who are the pressmen students will be joining us in the two campuses. You could be either enrolled in the main campus or in the IT campus this school year or academic year. But before we go on with our career and our professional undertakings, the college has planned to give you some important guidelines to help you remind of the important issues and concern that can guide you along the way. Marami sa atin kung minsan ang nakakalimutan ang kagandahang asal. Marami kong minsan sa atin nakatutok na lang sa ating mga academic affairs. But let us remember, it's not always the intelligence which is important. There are a lot of things that concern our whole being. We are involved intellectually, physically, socially, spiritually, mentally, and of course, our good values. Good words are worth much and cost little. Sometimes we overuse those words, but there are cases they are hurting. Remember that words have power. Words can hurt. They wound sometimes deeply. As one child says, sticks and stones can break my bones. And so harsh words wounded me. Kapag nasabi na kasi natin ang isang salita at nasaktan natin ang puso o damdamin ng isang tao, hindi na natin kaya yung bawiin. We can never retrieve those words anymore. But words can also reward, build self-esteem, create friendship, give hope, and render a blessing. Words can heal and drive accomplishment. So as we enter into this academic year, what kind of example do we want to show, to do, demonstrate to everyone? Sabi nga sa Titus 2.7, Set an example of good words yourself with integrity and dignity in your teaching or in your demonstration. What kind of example are you? Are you the kind of person whose life serves as powerful example of decency in conduct or in speech and of virtue? Are you a person whose behavior serves a positive model for others? Are you the kind of person whose actions, day in, day out, are based upon integrity, fidelity, and love for the Lord? You are also a powerful force for the good word that desperately needs positive influence such as yours. Character building takes time. Character is built slowly over time. It is the sum of every right decision, every honest word, every noble thought, and every heartfelt prayer. It is purged on the unveil of honorable word and polished by the twin virtues of generosity and humility. Character is a precious thing. Difficult to build, but easy to tear down. As Christians, of whom majority of us belong, we must seek to live each day with discipline, honesty, and faith. When we do, that brings purity of purpose and strength of character. Let us remember our dear students that kind words are always rewarded. Sana sa pagpasok ninyo sa panibagong manas ng inyong buhay, maramdaman ninyo ang pagmamahal ng inyong eskwelahan. At kung magkaganon, respeto sa isa't isa, malasakit at higit sa lahat, ang tiwala natin sa ating pong may kapal, sapagkat walang sino man ang pwedeng magsabi na ako ang pinaka 
kundi ang Diyos lamang ang may-ari ng ating buhay. This afternoon, we are very grateful for this couple, Pastor Buboy and Miss Millie Espino, for lending their time, their potentials, and most especially, their sharing to all of us because based on their experiences, their ministries could help us a lot. This is not all about religion. This is all about our values, our relationship with each other, our respect and courtesy with one another, and above all, our trust and faith in God. For everyone, we hope that as we begin the academic year, we will be grateful and we are hopeful to achieve these achievements that we are looking for. To everyone, our grateful and precious time that you shared to us. Maraming maraming salamat po. And God bless us all. Good afternoon once again. Thank you, Ma'am Dara, for a very inspiring message. Now to introduce our speaker for this webinar, may I call on our Dean for the IT Campus and our Zoom Meeting Facilitator, Engineer Michelle Ipulion. Thank you, Ms. Cherry. Good afternoon, everyone, to our beloved President, Ma'am Gina Guerra. Our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Raymond Magno. Our VP for Administration, Sir Emmy de Guzman. Our Executive Assistant to the President, Sir Elmer Albacete. And our Supervisor for Curric Curriculum and Instruction, Ma'am Rosette Alfonso. And of course, to our dear students who are tuning in live at our official uh, FB page and to all the parents who are also with us today. It is my honor and privilege to introduce to you our speaker for today. Ms. Melina Gonzalez is really for short, is a graduate of Bachelor of Arts in Social Science, major in Behavioral Studies from UP Manila. She earned her master's unit in Human Resource at UP Soler de Liman. She worked as a human resource practitioner in schools, businesses, and industrial companies for 20 years. Her current involvement includes Certified Trainer of Church Strengthening Ministry Incorporation for 10 years, a freelance trainer and motivational speaker to private organizations, companies, and various government agencies and LGUs such as Dep and Division of Office of Las Piñas and City Government of Montenlupa. She is also an HR consultant to various organizations, schools, and churches. A part-time human resource manager of SLT Gas Mart Corporation or Shell Gas Station and the Minister Director of International Evangelical Church of Alabang. She is happily married to Pastor Ruel Buboy K. Espino Jr. with four children, a son-in-law and one granddaughter. Her life verse is from Philippians 4.13 which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you our guest speaker, Ms. Melina Mili Gonzalez Espino. Afternoon, everybody. I am uh, with my uh, dear husband, Pastor Bubwe Espino, who is currently the missions uh, pastor of International Evangelical Church of Alabang. He is also a uh, graduate of uh, Master's in uh, Ministries at uh, PBTS, Philippine uh, Baptist Theological Seminary. And uh, before he became a pastor, he is into theater. He is a, 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 a director po, and lighting uh, designer. Yeah. So, Good afternoon, everyone. We hope you are all well. Ako po si Pastor Buboy, ang uh, butihing uh, kalahati <laughs> <laughs> ni Ma'am Mili. And we are glad to be here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ma'am. Good afternoon, dear teachers. And good afternoon, dear students who are with us via FB Live. Good afternoon po. Ayan. So, 
as we start our talk, we'd like to first issue a, uh, I think it's proper to congratulate our dear students, uh, first year students. Ayan, you made it. You are at the DF TAMC. Kayo po ay official students na ng ating minamahal na City College. Why do we claim also uh, as our beloved City College? Kasi we are also residents of Las Piñas. Yes. Ayan. Kaya uh, alam namin na pag uh, ibig sabihin na... <laughs> Ay, pag ibig sabihin na pag estudyante ng DFKMC ay mga matatalino, mga kausap natin, mamili. Oh, wag din nating kakalimutan, meron din tayong mga second year and third year na yes. uh, makakasama rin natin. Uh -huh. So, congratulations sa inyo. So, tamang-tama ang topic natin sa ngayon. Hapon. Tama yeah. po. Uh, allow us uh, to share to you as we talk about uh, excellence, no? Uh, but we will focus on excelling with honor. Yeah. Ayan, so, excelling with honor. Okay, so... Mag-request lang po kami na payagan nyo kami mag-share screen. <laughs> Please enable our share screen. Ano po, mapakita natin sa ating mga sudyante ating nga PowerPoint. Yes. So, let us talk about excellence. Uh -huh. no? Sabi nga ni Pastor Buboy, let us focus on Excelling with oh, honor. Yeah. Yeah. But this is not just about you excelling academically. Because you know how to do that already. Yes, so, kaya nga kayo nakapasok. Kaya nga na sa DF Council kayo. Kaya nga kayo ganito. Yeah. Yes. But rather, let us dwell on how you can do great. Yeah. Even with excelling with values. Yes. Ah, yan po yung pag-uusapan yes. natin ngayon. Oo, kasi ngayon. base din sa pamagat no, ng ating, ano, ng ating uh, webinar this afternoon, mm -hmm. yung revitalizing personal values. Yes. Yan. Yan. So, so uh, if we, um, kung nakikita lang kasi yung PowerPoint, pero <laughs> actually, excelling with honor, the word honor is actually an acronym. Ayan, honor is an acronym na gagamitin natin. Doon po tayo magdudwell this afternoon sa atin pong pag-uusapan patungkol po sa values. Sa values, okay? So we shall uh, which we shall uh, thoroughly discuss with you this afternoon. Ayan, so ako muna magsaselta ba kami yes. ng uh, share screen. Okay. Uh, Ma-share na natin. Okay. Uh, may I request Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Ayan po. Okay na. Nakikita niyo na po ang aming, ano, ang aming PowerPoint. Ayan. Okay. So, sabi po kanina ni Pastor Buboy, excelling with honor. No? Honor actually is an acronym of values which we shall thoroughly discuss sa inyo. So, H-O-N-O-R. Yes. But first, let us define the keywords excel and values. Kasi okay. yun yung nasa pamagat natin na yung honor representing yung values, no? So, when we say uh, uh, excel, no? it means to do better than others. It oh. means uh, superior merit or quality. Di ba? Pag sinabing excellent ka, di sabihin mm. nun, pinakamagaling ka na, no? Ang taas na ng rating mo, ang taas na ng score mo. So, when we say excel, better ka or even you are the best. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pag sinabi naman nating values, values are individual beliefs that motivate people to act one way or another. Mm -hmm. They serve as a guide for human <coughs> behavior. So values or yung iba ang tawag nila virtues, yeah, mm -hmm. are the essence of who we are. Yun yung yun yung kung yung kabuuan natin, no? Yung basic na no? ng kabuuan natin bilang isang uh, isang nilikha, okay? Values are the principles that you hold to be of worth in your life. Mm -hmm. Ibig sabihin, ang values ay yung mga bagay or mga paniniwala na pinanghahawakan mo sa buhay na mahalaga sa iyo. Mm. So um, you know my dear students na no? uh, values also reflect on your character and behavior. Mm. On a normal setting, kanina narinig ko to sa message niya no ni, ni Ma'am Gina Guerra. Values are first 
learn at home at saka yung sinabi ni Sir Magno kanina mm. na, na sa kanya uh, sa kanyang opening remarks na yes. sa kanya ko narinig yun na ang values ay yung kung ano yung mga natutunan mo sa bahay at alam niyo ba mga estudyante no kapag ka lumabas kayo ng bahay yung kung ano man ang kabuuan ninyo nagre-reflect yon kung ano yung natutunan mo sa bahay Tama. at kasama doon ay yung values. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, as we have defined the keywords Excel and values, allow us to share with you the core or yung pinakalaman or personal mm. values each student must have no? Mm. that we must learn and excel with. Yeah. Yeah. So, hindi lang matutunan kung hindi maging magaling ka doon sa mga values na ituturo namin sa inyo. Tama. Uh, sana ta- tayong mga estudyante, it's either you can uh, screenshot kung ano man yung lumalabas dyan sa, sa phone ninyo na nasa slide namin yes. para pwede nyo balikan or you can take down notes. Yes. Because this webinar is especially made for you. Para our, sa iyo. Yes, our <laughs> teachers are with us to to uh, monitor also and to take down notes also kasi pagdating sa inyong mga klase, they will from time to time review these values that we are supposed to learn this afternoon. Yes, and from time to time, they will remind you na dapat yes. ito yung taglay-taglay nating yes. values. And by the way, dear students, kanina nakita ko sa comments nyo, present at check attendance, iba? we would encourage you also because as we go on through this webinar, mm-hmm. per point or uh, per value, meron tayong tanong, no? meron tayong question for you to reflect on. Sagutin niyo through your comments dito sa FB Live yes. so that we may read also your comments your teachers may see them also and alam nyo ba sa inyong pag-comment sa inyong mga reflection sa inyong mga masasabi tungkol sa pinag-uusapan namin ngayon unti-unti rin namin kayong makikilala yan, tama ah. hindi man namin kayo nakikita pero oh. at least malalaman namin ano yung takbo ng inyong isipan yes, ah. and it is also a signal that you are with us yes <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. Okay, let's okay. start. Let's start. Okay, let's start. Let's start with the first value. Ang isang mahalaga na dapat natin is the letter H. Ang mm-hmm. uh, letter H represents honesty. Yeah. Ayan, honesty. Alam niyo po ang uh, ang uh, nung bata pa lamang tayo <laughs> ay naririnig na po natin at nababasa natin itong motto na ito, ano? Yung honesty is the best Policy. Policy. Ano oh, mga bata, ano ko, hindi pa uso yung mga may pinitprint na mga poster-poster. Sinusulat pa yun ng colored chalk dun sa blackboard namin. Yes. So, honesty is the best policy. Yan, yeah, oh. tama. Ano? At saka, alam niyo po, isa po yun sa mga virtue o yung mga values na na lumulutang ngayon sa panahon natin yes. ng pandemya yes. yung pagiging honest yes. no yes pagiging tapat pagiging tapat ayan no so yung mga marami yung mga honesty stores yung mga kuwan ano pang mga na mga bagay or endeavors that entails honesty no? yes. so when you talk of honesty honesty means truthfulness ayan makita niyo po sa may ibaba ng ating screen truthfulness sincerity Frankness. Ayan. Oh, okay. It it also means being straight and true with others and doing what is right. Yes. Ayan. So, we are to speak the truth or uh, dapat tayo po ay honest at all times because sa uh, totoo lang, ito po ay isang mandato mula sa Panginoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a mandate from our God. Kapag sinabi natin mandate, ano ibig sabihin nun? Aba, ito ay isang uh, ano, utos. Utos. Ito, ito ay is- isang command. Command. Okay. Oo, oh, yan. Uh, to be honest at all times. Mm-hmm. Sabi po sa uh, Ephesians 4.25, ganito po, Therefore, laying aside falsehood, speak truth, each one of you, with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Mm. So, makikita mo yung kahalagahan ano, na dapat tayo ay honest. Dapat merong honesty sa ating katauhan dahil 
yan po ay uh, hindi lamang ipinag-uutos ng Panginoon, ngunit ito ay nagdudulot din ng kabutihan naman para sa ating buhay. At saka sabi doon, at all times. At all times. So, walang pinipiling oras, walang pinipiling lugar. Maaring honest ka sa school, pagdating sa bahay, hindi. Naku, hindi pwede yun. Hindi pwede yun. Oo. Baha naman baliktad. Honest ka sa bahay, pagdating sa school, hindi. Oo, tama. Mali din yun, di ba? Dapat yun. pareho. So, pagka sinabi natin honest, ay totoo kung ano yung pinapakita mo, ano yung sinasabi mo sa iyong bahay, ganun din sa eskwelahan and vice versa. Yes, okay. that's right. That's right. Um, you know, Uh, it is in honesty that we deepen our relationship with God or with Christ. No? So, doon lumalalim yung ating pagkakilala at pag- yung relasyon natin sa Panginoon. At gayon din naman, kasi sinasabi sa Ephesians 4.15, But speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in all aspects into Him, who is the head, even Christ. So, makita mo na naman doon. Again, speaking the truth. Uh, it 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 means in essence being honest, honest. no sinasabi mo parate ang katotohanan at naniniwala po ako na dapat ay eh, isang katangian niya ng isang mag-aral <laughs> ng BF tam ah, ah, di ba and actually honesty is part of what we call another big word another big value hmm. integrity integrity Pero yes na focus lang tayo ngayon sa honesty sa honesty doon mo tayo sa medyo iba oh, sa oh, ano kasi sa kasi sinabi mong integrity ano na yun eh, kabuuan mo na yun. Ibang uusapin na kanya. Yeah, no? uh-huh. Kasi kabuuan mo na yun, kabuuan uh, ng, pa, ng iyong pagkatao. Yes. So, doon muna tayo sa honesty. Honesty, ayan. ayan. Alam niyo po, bilang mag-aaral, it is a mandate thus expected from us that we be honest at all times. <laughs> Kanino po? To our parents, to our family, teachers, Diba? To school faculty, uh, school staff rather, and practically to everybody. So when you are honest, ano mangyayari? People will trust you. Pagkakatiwalaan ka ng tao. When you as a student are honest, your teachers, your friends, and even school as a whole will trust you. Oh, tama, no? Pagkakatiwalaan ka. Uh-huh. Ayan. So, mahalaga po na ma-develop natin yan. No? So, maaari baka dumating sa punto ng buhay mo ngayon na medyo issue sa'yo ang honesty. Uh-huh. Well, it's never too late na tayo ay mag-umpisa no? na maging totoo, magsabi ng katotohanan, huwag magsinungaling, di ba? Maging totoo lamang, truthful lamang tayo sa ating sinasabi and mangyayari, people will start trusting Um, alam niyo mga anak, mga anak ko na kayo, ah, mga estudyante, kasi um, mas matanda lang sa inyo ng konti yung mga mas mga matatanda kong mga anak. Uh-huh. <laughs> meron po kasi kaming 26 years old, meron kaming dalawang 22, tambal, at meron kaming 11 years old. Mm-hmm. So ngayon mga anak, alam niyo kapag ka ikaw ay hindi tapat, if you are not being honest, mm-hmm. sinong niloko mo? Kaya nga. Hindi ang mga teachers, hindi ang mga parents, hindi yung mga kaibigan mo, ang niloloko mo, ang sarili mo. Ayun. At ang pinakamabigat sa lahat, hindi natutuwa ang Panginoon oh. sa isang tao sinungaling. Sabi nga ng estudyante ko dati sa simbahan ng bata pa eh, si Waling. Si, si Waling? <laughs> Oo, oh, hindi ako si Waling. Ayoko maging si Waling kasi kasalanan yun sa Diyos. Yeah. So, Be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Alam niyo, this honesty, madalas ko sinasabi ito, no? Pag when I am uh, talking to someone, ang issue eh, about honesty or, become, or, or naging dishonest siya, kaya sabi ko pala sa kanya, ikaw naman, sa lahat naman ang pinili mong lokohin, yung sarili mo pa niloko mo. Ito, ito. When you are dishonest, ang sarili mo, ang niloloko mo, yes. hindi, hindi kami, yes. hindi yung mga taong kausap mo. Kasi ikaw ang maapektuhan yes. by not telling the truth. Nakakarguhin po yun eh. Ayan. So when you trust each other, relationships begin to be strengthened. Yes. Nag-uumpisang maging malakas nag-uumpisang maging matibay ang mga relasyon mo sa iyong kapwa. Mm-hmm. Now is the time no, to apply the, the motto na matagal na nating kinalakihan. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. Ayan. Ayan. 
So, ang tanong ko po sa inyo ngayon, yeah. mga minamahal kong estudyante. And we encourage you to comment your answers. Ha? Yan. Oh, sige. Just send your comments regarding this question na ito. Kamusta ka naman sa pagsasabi mo ng totoo? Mm. Yan. Kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? Andun ka ba sa... Sige, gawin natin medyo... Bigyan scale natin ng uh, scale of 1 to 10. Mm. Ayan. 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. highest. Ayan. Kung nando 1 to 10, at sa pagsasabi ng totoo, nasaan ka kaya? Oo. Oh. Ayan. So, yeah, yan po. Tignan natin. No? Yung, ano, be, be honest yes. with your answers. And if you are courageous <laughs> enough to tell the truth about the answer to this question, sa mga makakabasa nito, huwag naman tayong judgment. Oo. Oh, oh. Ika nga, sabi ng isang sikat na uh, noon time show, uh, bawal uh, judgmental. We are here to learn together. We are here to reflect uh, on these things. And so we encourage, first and foremost, for each one of us to be honest. Yes, that's right. That's right. Ayan. Okay. So, uh, second value. Okay. Letter O. O stands for obedience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Obedience is the act of following instructions or recognizing someone's authority. Mm -hmm. It also means submission, compliance, don't you know that obedience is pleasing to God? Mm -hmm. Yes, di ba? Meron nga isang verse sa Bible, di ba? It is better to... Obedience is better than and sacrifice. sacrifice. Colossians 3.20 from the Holy Bible says, Children, be obedient to your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 6.1 also says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Okay, baka may magpipilosop po dyan. Parents lang naman po pala eh. <laughs> My dear students, mga kolehyo na kayo, you must know by now that when you, when you uh, attend classes or when you go to school, sino ang mga magulang nyo doon? Yes. Remember, ang paaralan ay ang ikalawang tahanan. Oo. At, At ang mga, mga guro, guro, ang ikalawang magulang. Yes. So, yung treatment na sinasabi ng Bible na binasa natin kanina, is ano lang din yun. It, go, it applies the same yes. sa ating mga minamahal uh -huh. na mga guro at and, mga professors. And the word parents there represent people who are taking care of you, represent people who, who teach you, represents people who are uh, overseeing you. Okay? So, obedience here means total, disobe uh, total obedience, I think. <laughs> Not selective obedience. When we say uh, selective obedience, yung pinipili natin kung sino yung susundin natin at hindi. Yung sinabi natin selective obedience, pinipili lang natin sino ang susundin natin at hindi. Mm -hmm. Pero ang sinasabi rito, ang pinag-uusapan nating obedience dito ay total obedience. Meron lang akong gustong itouch na, ano, na issue sa mga kabataan ngayon. Mm -hmm. okay? um, dahil nga meron kaming apat na anak, yung tatlo ay dumaan na sa pagka-teenager, di ba? Ito ang issue namin. Actually, nagiging issue rin ngayon sa mga mas bata, ano, yung tinatawag nating delayed obedience. Oh, Yan yung, uh, pa, ano, pakiligpit mo nga ano, wait lang po. Yan, yeah, usong uso yan na sagot. <laughs> sandali lang po. Isesend ko lang po ito sandali. Hmm. Mag, ano yon mag send to cart ako sandali, ba? <laughs> Wait lang po, you know, ang tawag doon, mga minamahal naming mga studyante ng DFK, ang tawag doon ay delayed obedience. Uh -huh. Hindi yung uh, kumpara doon sa, anak, pakikuha ngayon, yes po, kuha kagad, bibong-bibo, ba? Pag sinabi ni teacher, oh, you do this, yes ma'am, we will. Pag sinabi mo kay teacher, ma'am, wait lang po, Okay, that is delayed obedience. And do you know that delayed obedience is actually disobedience? Mm -hmm. hmm? Di ba? Tama yun? Yes. Di ba? Pagka dinelay mo ang pag-obey, actually that is disobedience. Disobedience 
is actually a sin. Mm-hmm. Kasalanan sa Panginoon yung pagiging disobedient, yung hindi pagsunod. Yan. So, when we say obedience, pag sinabi natin total obedience, sunod agad. Mm-hmm. Okay, sunod agad. Children honor their parents, okay, by listening to their advice and obeying their instruction. Mm-hmm. So, pag sinabi natin uh, listening, alam mong meron kang gagawin. Mm-hmm. So, doon yun, doon naka, ano doon eh, nakapasok doon yung word na yung obedience, makikinig ka at saka may gagawin ka. Mm-hmm. So, kung nakinig ka lang at hindi mo ginawa, hindi obedience yun. Mm-hmm. So, mas lalo na kung ginawa mo, hindi mo naman pinakinggan anong gagawin mo. Mm-hmm. So, package yun. Mm-hmm. You listen and you do something. That is obedience. Students like you, ha? mga mga first year and also second year, third year students of DF, DFCAM, students honor their teachers and the uh, the people in authority in the school by listening to their advice and obeying their instructions. Mm-hmm. Teachers serve as your second parents, wow. thus they must be obeyed. Mm-hmm. So ito ngayon, ang tanong ko sa inyo. O, oh, sana naman may mag-comment para wala nang gumalaw, okay? <laughs> Natatagot pa kayong sumagot, okay? <laughs> Alright, ito po ang... Uh, Tanong natin sa inyo, mga estudyante. Ano ang mga posibleng dahilan bakit hirap sumunod ang mga kabataan ngayon sa kanilang mga magulang o sa mga nakatatanda sa kanila? Or specifically, sa kanilang mga guru? Mm-hmm. Ulitin ko yung tanong. Ano ang mga posibleng dahilan bakit hirap kayong sumunod? <laughs> Di ba? Sa inyong mga magulang. Sa mga nakatatanda sa inyo, sa inyong mga guro o mga people in authority sa inyong skalahan, mm-hmm. ano kaya posibleng dahilan? Mm-hmm. Yan, sana may sumagot. Oh. Yan. You know, dear, dear students, this webinar is actually for you. Mm-hmm. Mabigat ba? Talagang mabigat. <laughs> Because we are talking about values and later on you will know why we have to to uh, discuss this with you. Yes, alright. Ayan, so ang pangatlong value po na ating uh, nais namin share sa inyo is the letter N. And that is being nice. Ayan, being nice. Ayan, di ba? Nice means to be pleasant and good-natured. Mm-hmm. You exhibit politeness and courtesy. Mm-hmm. Ang tanong, bakit natin kailangan maging nice? Ayan. Why do we need to be nice? Alam niyo po, we need to be nice dahil it leads to many good things ang pagiging nice. <coughs> like better relationships, improved self-esteem uh, ano pa ba yung mga ano natin uh, compassion happiness future success and good mental and physical health alam niyo po minsan being nice will take you places no yung kasi ay okay yan ma ano yan uh, ako muna nagre-recommend ka na doctors ka oo Di ba? Dahil lamang sa iyong magandang demeanor, sa iyong magandang pag-uugali, sa iyong pagiging nice, eh minsan nag, nag, nagmamark ka yan eh, sa mga tao. Nice. Ang pinakamalapit yatang uh, Filipino term sa nice ay mabuti. Mabuti, yes. Mabuti, so, mabait. Oo, oh, ayan. Ah. Being nice can build good relationships to others. Mm. With your family, friends, di ba? Uh, classmates, etc. Marami, no? Basta when you talk of relationships, it can build it can build good relationships, no, with other people. Mm-hmm. Alam niyo po, ang uh, magandang balita eh siguro alis na ano, no? Alam naman natin na sakit ngayon COVID-19 ay sa tayo nakakahawa. Pero alam ba niyo sa isang magandang balita, being nice is also contagious. Oh, nakakahawa. <laughs> nakakahawa yan. Yung, oh. yung uh, pag ikaw ay mabuti, pag ikaw ay magandang makisama, mm-hmm. di ba? Nakakahawa yan. Kasi syempre, yung taong pinag- pinagpapakitaan mo ng kabutihan, ng kagandahang loob, eh, sasabihin nila, 
nakakahiya naman ko, ma- igaganti ko. Ma- eh, Maapektuhan sila. Maapektuhan <laughs> sila eh. So, mag- magagaya sila, mahawa yes. sila sa iyo, di ba? So, you know, being nice is contagious. So, when you smile, it is a natural thing to smile back. Sige nga. Oo. Oh. Uh, di ba? <laughs> Tain na lang natin. Tain na lang yata eh. Ikaw, kung may katabi ka, subukan mo, mag-smile ka. Di ba? Ang sagawa naman ng katabi mo pag buma, bu, ano, nagbusangot ng mukha. Oo. Pero di ba ng mga nakamask tayo ngayon? Oo. Kahit na nakamask kayo, malalaman din, makikita rin kung nakasmile kayo because of your eyes. Eyes. Oo, oh, tama. Di ba? Ayan. Ayan. So, talagang hindi mo may aalis, no? Yung being nice, nice. ay talagang makikita at makikita mm-hmm. at mararamdaman. Yes. To be a nice student, you must extend courtesy. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Nagpapakita, nag-extend ka ng uh, courtesy o ano bang Tagalog ng courtesy? Uh, courtesy. Courtesy. <laughs> <laughs> hindi. <laughs> anyway. Courtesy. Courtesy. Yeah. Yan. Being polite to your classmates. Uh, to your professors to the school leadership mm-hmm. and of course to your teachers no oh. mahalaga po yun no yung maging polite tayo oh. yung maalala pa rin natin sino ba yung kausap natin mm-hmm. or sino ba yung halimbawa kagaya ngayon o merong may nagsasalita tapos eh kumbaga instead of naka-focus ka sa sa nagsasalita o dun sa iyong cellphone sa gadget ngayon ano-ano yung ginagawa o kaya ano-ano yung ginaga, uh, ano-ano yung tinetext mo oh. di ba? It's, it, ano, it's impolite. Yes. Kahit okay, hindi no? namin nakikita you know, yes. it's impolite. Oh. If you are not listening you are not listening to us. So mahalaga po na tayo maging polite. Yes. Di ba? Yes. Maging polite sa, maging sa lahat. Nice. Oo. Hmm. Para tayo maging nice. No? Huwag lang huwag lang dun sa Wag lang doon sa yung alam mo yung mga matataas ang posisyon, wag lang sa ganoon, dapat sa bawat sa ka, lahat ng kapwa natin, mm. tayo ay polite. Sa kaidad mo, sa mas bata sa iyo, for yes. all ages, no? Dapat maging nice tayo. Oo. Ay, eh, paano nga ba maging nice? Paano ba maging nice? Yes. Yeah. Bukit na itanong mo, ala. Pa paano ba maging nice? nice. Ayan. how huh? to be Nice. Okay. okay, number one, ang dapat po natin tatandaan is we must be considerate. Considerate. Ayan. Okay. Maging, uh, siguro maunawain, ano? Ang ano yes. niya, no? Maging so, maunawain. Siguro part of being uh, considerate yung ano ka rin, eh. maging sensitive ka rin. Maging sensitive, that's oh. right. Oo. Being considerate figures out what people need and finds a way, you find a way to help. Oh, yung mga oh, ano ganito mga mga common examples. Mm. Nagdada naglalakad ka sa hallway, noon na rin nasa ano tayo, school setting tayo, no? Nagdala mo ng online. Nagdadaan ka sa dumaan, naglalakad ka sa hallway. Tapos may nakasalubong kang teacher or even classmate mo na laglagang mga gamit. Nahulog mga gamit, so hindi na siya na, nahirapan na siyang kunin 'yon, di ba? Mm. Siyempre, when you say you you want to be nice and you you are considerate, siyempre, you offer mo yung help mo. Yes. Hindi yung, ay, dami yung dala kasi. Tapak-tapak, ano pa yung libro? Oh, ay, hindi ko nakita. Kaya, excuse me nga. <laughs> diba? Maharang mga gamit mo. That's not being nice. Uh-huh. When, when you are being nice and you are to be considerate, uh-huh. i-consider mo, isipin mo, ano ba yung, yung kailangan niya ng tulong? Yes. Diba? Yung iba nga, talagang they ask eh. You need help. Yes. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, ito sa, sa panahon natin ngayon, magandang maging practice natin yan, lalo na stay at home tayong oh. lahat, di ba? Online learning. Oh. Uh, nasaan tayo madalas? Nasa bahay, mm-hmm. di ba? Kung di man 24 hours, most of the time, nasa bahay lang tayo. Mm-hmm. We can be considerate, no? Sa, sa mga ilinga-linga lang natin yung ating mga mata, makakakita ka ng bagay na maka, may magagawa ka na pwedeng makabawas sa gagawin pa ng iyong mga magulang, for example. Yes, tulad oh. ng paghugas na. Ah, Binggan! Pagwawalis! No? <laughs> oh, at, at least malang ayusin mo yung sarili mong higaan. Oo, oh, oh, tama. At least diba? be, being considerate. Be, be considerate, di ba? Yeah. Makita mo na mayroong mga pangangailangan sa iyong paligid at oh. ahanap ka ng paraan pa paano ka ikaw makakatulong. Yes, correct. Ayan. So, number two. Ang pwede pa nating uh, i- 
uh, I'm sorry, uh, that means that always putting yourself or your wants or your needs ahead of everyone's, everyone else. So, kumbaga, inilalagay mo, isinasaalang-alang mo ang kapakanan ng ibang tao mm. no? on top of your mm. of your, uh, your personal needs, personal wants, mm-hmm. uh, mahalaga sa iyo ang kapakanan ng iba. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So, yun, number two, ayan, puta na puta. On being na, nice. On being nice. How to be nice. Is, we must be also, uh, we must think of others. Ayan. Think of others. Often, when we walk through our days completely mindless of what we are doing or what is around us, take the time to consider those in your life on a daily basis. So, mahalaga po na uh, isinasaalang-alang nga. Ito, ano naman, babalik na naman tayo doon. Isaalang-alang. O isipin mo ang ibang tao. Ayan, di ba? Halimbawa, o a fine example, pag yung... Kain, kakain na. O, kakain na, kakain na. Pag kumuha ka nung, ano, nung kanin, kalahati, nawawala, ayun sa lalagyan. Pwede mo namang isipin din ang ibang tao. Kakain na kaya si tatay? Hindi pa kumakain si ano. Okay, bawal lang sa kanya. Okay, bawal to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isipin naman natin yung uh, ibang tao. Alam mo yung uh, being nice, yung think of others. Yes. Yung uh, kagabi po kasi may kwenento si Pastor sa akin. Uh, meron isang barangay na nagpasa ng ano, ng ano yun, yung yung proposal sa Oh, may eh uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, may panukala. Panukala no? na may batas na oh, isa sa batas nila. Oh, na from 8 AM to 4 PM bawal mag-video kay sa community nila. Bawal mag-party. Bawal mag-party, bakit? Iisipin mo kasi, niisip kasi nila yung mga nag-online classes. Yes. Yung mga nag-work from home. Yung mga nag-webinar tulad natin ngayon. <laughs> eh, Siyempre, pag yung kapitbahay mo, biglang nag-video ka, di ba? Ang feeling oh. mo, they're not being nice to you. Oh. Di ba? So, magandang halimbawa yon At oh. least sa community level, no? You think of others. Oh. Diba? Tama eh. Sabi nga eh. May naalala ko tuloy. Meron akong pinuntahan na webinar eh. Sabi nung speaker, you know, as we end, eh biglang bumangat ng matinding and now the end is me. <laughs> Timing ba? Na timing. Kaso, kaso sintonado. Oo, wala sa to. No. Kahiya, narinig doon sa ano. No? Kaya nga, so, kaya nga. So, think of others. Yes. That is being nice. Yes. Number three. Ito pa. Ayan. Oh. So, mag- magkakaduktong lahat eh. Wow. So, as you think of others, don't be selfish. Mm-hmm. Don't be selfish. If you see that there is only one left of something, Ayan, wala, particularly ganito, di ba, pagkain. Ayan. Huwag na natin, don't take the last of it. Ayan. Uh, that is true of everything in life. No? So maraming pagkakataon, eh, pwede mong i-apply yung rule na yan. No? Uh, recognize the other people around you and that the goal in life is not to grab all that you can, especially to someone else detriment. Ayan. So, isa alang-alang natin, no? Ang uh, ibang tao, sa pag-alang-alang natin sa ibang tao, tendency natin, hindi tayo nagiging selfish. Yes. Ayan. Kaya, di ba dyan tayo kilalang mga Pinoy? Yes. Yung may natitira nga. Yung, yung huling tinapay. Huling empanada. Huling empanada. Huling, huling hopia. Huling, huling hotdog. <laughs> huling hotdog. Parating, ano ba yan? Nagtira pa? Uh, oh, di ba? Kasi, Nasa kultura nating Pinoy na may tinitira tayo kasi baka meron pang kakain. Yes. Ayan. Ayan. So sa mga estudyante natin, no, um, yung pagiging nice ninyo, that would be very applicable sa inyong bahay ngayon mm. and as you do online classes. Yes, ayan. So kung ginagawa mo na yan, congratulate yes. mo na yung sarili mo. Yes. Hindi ka selfish. Oh, yes. You <laughs> are nice. You are nice, ayan. All right. Number four, uh, how to on uh, on how to be nice, nice uh, di ba? Number four is to think before you speak or do. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So mahalaga po yan. Before you say something, Eh, magandang i-filter muna natin ito. Sa papaano pamamaraan? 
isipin muna natin. Para Pag ka alin. mag-type ng comment, Oo. isipin mo muna kung ito ba ay makakasakit ng kapwa, ito ba ay makaka-offend, mm-hmm. or isa ka bang basher pagka uh, nag-comment ka nito. Kasama mm-hmm. yun. Tama yun. No? So, mahalaga po yun na tayo yung mag-isip muna bago magsalita mm-hmm. at bago tayo humakbang o gumawa. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Often, we talk without thinking and say things that offend people even if they don't know it. Minsan, ganyan tayo. Di ba? Hindi natin na uh, mamalayan. Uh, sa atin, masa- masabi lang natin yung gusto natin sabihin eh, para tayo nabubunutan ng tinik. O, di ba? Meron pa nga ibang tao, sabihin nila, ay nako, ikaw mamatay ko pag hindi ko nasabi yung gusto kong sabihin. Ang problema, yung mga gustong sabihin, puro naman hindi magaganda. At nakakamatay dun sa ibang tao. At nakakasakit at nakakapahamak pa dun sa ibang tao. <laughs> oh, <laughs> diba? Diba? So before you say something either to someone or about someone, think about how it will be heard and interpreted. Okay. Isipin mo na. Isipin mo na yung ano. Halimbawa, may, may, meron kang gustong sabihin na comment. Sa, isipan mo, sabihin mo na. Ano kaya dating nito? Oh, di ba? Pa mag magbulay-bulay ka. Di ba? Magmuni-muni ka. Hindi naman nakaka it won't hurt you kung ikaw ay magmumuni-muni muna. In fact, mas makakabuti 'yun dahil as you take time to think, mas magiging maganda yung composition mo ng gusto mong sabihin at yung mga decision mo na gusto mo naman ding gawin. Yes, correct. Ayan. At kung uh, wala ka na rin lang sasabihin maganda, huwag ka na lang magsabihin. Ayan, tama. No? Huwag na lang sabihin, di ba? Mm. Minsan, ma- mabuti pang pulisiya yun. Eh, no? oh. <laughs> Magandang pulisiya po yun. Ayan. And lastly, on how to become nice is that we must listen. Makinig. Alam niyo po, some of the best advice for how to be nice to people, listen. Makinig lang tayo. Listening is, is not just about hearing words that come from someone's mouth. No? Yung, yung pumapasok lang sa tenga. Yung problema nga, no? pag pumapasok lang sa tenga, lalabas din sa kabila. Eh. Ang tawag doon, hearing. <laughs> hearing lang. Oh. Narinig mo lang. Oo. But when you listen, there is an amount of processing yes. that happens. Yes. When when you process what you hear, that is listening. Kasi titingnan mo, mga kabuti ba ito sa akin? Pag mga kabuti, i-adapt ko ito. Mm-hmm. Pag hindi, tapo na lang, oh. di ba? Ayun. Gaya ngayon, kayo po ay nanonood, nakikinig sa amin. Ang intention namin is as much as possible, <coughs> hindi lang kayo na, na nakikinig. Na, na you're not just hearing <coughs> us. But you are listening to what we are saying to you. Yes. Kasi yung mga gusto namin sabihin sa inyo, ay ang intention namin ay ito'y makabuti sa inyo at makatulong sa inyong journey bilang mag-aaral. Tama. Ayan. So, uh, it, takes them in, uh, it takes them into consideration and really thinks about them no yung yung when you listen oh. talagang ano yun nagkumbaga parang ang nangyayari sa iyo inuulit-ulit mo pa sa isipan mo kaya yung ano ah, yung sa akin dagdagan ko yun ah. mm. yung sa listening alam niyo po ba uh, maganda rin na alam nila na nakikinig ka mm. di ba ganito yun eh meron kang hawak na gadget tayo mga adults tayo mga may edad na Kasama tayo dito, guilty tayo dito. Hmm. Sige, sige, nakikinig ako. Pero ano okay. yeah, yan yeah, 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 yeah. Alam sige. mo, alam sige, mo. Sige, nakikinig ako. Alam mo ba na oh. Ano nga uli sinabi mo? <laughs> diba? When you say you listen, bitiwan mo ang gadgets mo. Drop everything. Drop everything tapos focus your attention on the person talking. Yes. Alam nyo, alam nyo meron kaming uh, kaibigan na offend siya talaga na online, nagmi-meeting sila. Tapos, kwinento niya sa amin, alam mo, sabi niya ganun, itong kaibigan natin na to, walang galang. Mm. He's not nice. Bakit? Sabi namin. Kasi nag-uusap kami, oo siya nang oo, pero hindi niya siguro nakikita, hindi niya nare-realize na nakabukas yung kanyang camera, nagsa-cellphone siya habang kausap ko. <laughs> That's not being nice. 
that is being impolite. Uh-huh. Diba? So when you say listen, you focus your attention on that person. Yes. Magkaroon ka ng eye contact, i-process mo, pakinggan mo, yung kumbaga yung attention mo nasa kanya. Alam nyo, I think yan ang isa sa mga lost art na natin ngayon of communicating. Yes. Yung the art of establishing eye, eye contact. contact. Yung pansinin mo ngayon, Siguro ikaw pag kinakausap ka na nakakatanda sa iyo o may kausap ka, ang tendency mo naliligaw ang mata mo. Mm-hmm. Uh, maari siguro, o nga, nakikinig ka, maari uh, attentively ay nandun ka, meron kang sinasa. Pero madalas ang parating nawawala na sa atin is yung eye contact. Eye contact. Lalo na pag may nagawa kang kasalanan. <laughs> may tinatago kang sekreto. <laughs> Hindi ka makatingin oh. ng diretso sa mata, yes. di ba? So my dear students, when you when you listen, when you want to be nice, mm-hmm. okay? Kailangan ng attention mo nandoon sa taong nagsasalita. Yes. Ayan. Tama po 'yun. Huwag niyo nga alisin ang inyong mga mata. Ayun. Uh, parang lahat sila nakatingin na ngayon sa akin. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Ayan, on being nice, tanong po, po sa inyo ngayon. Sagutin po ninyo ito. Si- comment naman kayo, comment. Okay? Ang tanong po namin sa inyo ngayon ay, uh, which do you excel and which... Do you need to improve? Ikaw ba yung nag excel sa pagiging considerate? Yes. nag excel ka ba sa pakikinig? Uh-huh. O kailangan mo rin namang i-improve yung pagiging, uh, ano yun, yung pagiging selfless, don't be selfish. Yes, no? thinking of others. Oo, uh-huh. doon ka ba mahina? Anong area? Now, if you're able to identify where where do you excel on how to be nice, doon sa lima yun, mm-hmm. di ba? E di, congratulations, I think, okay mo. Pero I'm sure, meron mga areas na medyo kailangan mo pang improve. Yes. So, think of ways how you can improve that. Yes. Well, for example, on listening, mag-practice kayo sa bahay, sa mga kausap nyo. Mm-hmm. O kaya, pag nag-online classes kayo, i-apply nyo ngayon yung mga natutunan nyo ngayon when listening. Mm-hmm. ba diba? Or on uh, being considerate. Mm-hmm. Diba? Isipin mo ano bang pangangailangan ng mga kasama mo ngayon sa bahay. That's right. Ah, di ba? So, yeah. ano yun yun? I-process niyo yun. These questions are intended for you to reflect on, mm-hmm. to to process among yourselves, no? Because this webinar is for you. Makita mo kung saan ka ba, where do you stand? Yes. No? At, your, at the point ng iyong buhay ngayon, mm-hmm. ano ang, uh, saan ka ngayon nakatayo pagdating sa larangan ng iyong values? Yes. Okay, so... Yeah. Natapos na tayo sa honesty. Honesty. Natapos na tayo sa obedience. Oh. Natapos na tayo sa being nice. And? Okay. And the fourth value, which is another letter O, is orderly. Orderly. Oo. Oh, niresearch ko to. Ano mang, ano mang isa pang O na value na akmang-akma sa ating mga audience na yun. Mm. And I found out this word, Uh, orderly ay ano pala uh, isang value na marami tayong matututunan mapipick up mm-hmm. okay now to be orderly means to be neat to be tidy and organized mhm Actually, hindi lang para sa mga estudyante ito eh. Para sa lahat. Para sa lahat. <laughs> Even those working from home. Yes. For all of us, no? Orderly means to be neat to be tidy and organized. Mm-hmm. Now, there are three areas in your life which needs to be orderly. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Number one, you need to be neat in your physical appearance. Oh. Hindi kailangan magarbo, hindi kailangan mayat-maya bago ang suot, mamahali ng suot, or branded. Ang kailangan lang ay maayos kang tignan, malinis kang tignan, at mabango. At mabango kang tignan. <laughs> <laughs> And decent. Uh-huh. Okay, decent. Okay? Uh, naka-online classes tayo, meron tayong mga webinar, at least malangit itong dito sa tapos yeah, natin. No, diba? Decent looking. <laughs> diba? Tapos naka-shorts. Oo, oh, alam niyo po, may, meron na kayo pagtatabag sa inyo. Nagpapasalamat ako tuwing may webinar. Kasi tuwing may webinar, nakakapag-makeup ako. Uh, diba? <laughs> <laughs> ang hindi ko na lang nasusuot ay ang aking mga shoes. 
Mm-hmm. So, nag invest ako ngayon more on sleepers kasi mm-hmm. nandito lang sa bahay. Wow. You know, you need to be neat. Mm-hmm. Okay? Um, dagdag ko lang, you need to be physically neat for your own benefit. Mm-hmm. The way you, prefer, you prepare, okay, mm-hmm. the way you prepare yourself in terms of hygiene will either attract or repel people. Mm-hmm. Kahit naka-online tayo, kailangan meet in appearance ka pa mm-hmm. You know, your appearance represents your family, mm-hmm. your community, and for purposes of this discussion, your appearance reflects and represents your school. Kaya nga. And that is diba? the ka. Parang naman, ba't gano'n ang itsura niyan? Sa oh. panag-aaral niyan? Oh. Oh, parang di ba maganda sa... Di ka. Ganun ba yun? <laughs> <laughs> problema mo nga din ng mga tao, di ba? Kahit na bawal maging judgmental, alam na yun si talaga, yung, yung impression, no? and you said sabi, di ba, yung first impressions, uh, last. At saka nag-generalize. Oo, nag-generalize. Diba? Porket, ganito, ganito na lahat. Oh. Ako pa bilang isang uh, magandang asawa niya. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hindi ako naging polite. <laughs> Bilang uh, misis po niya, talagang dreaded sa akin yung lalabas siya na lukot ang damit niya. Mm-hmm. Talagang sasabi niya, siya po ay hindi pihikan. Mm-hmm. Siya ay, sige, okay na yan. Maunat din yan. Hindi, talagang hindi yan. Hindi yan. Nakakahiya. Diba? Na, kasi... Kung baga, tinuturing ko naman na respetadong tao ang aking asawa. Tapos ang makikita sa kanyang damit ay lukot-lukot o butas na o sira-sira na. <laughs> Hindi po ako makakapayag. Kasi it, it also reflects him and reflects me <laughs> as the wife. Kung paano ko siya pangalagaan. Tama. Diba? So mga estudyante, tayong mga nanonood ngayon ay kinig sa webinar. You, you have to learn to be Neat. Yes. Yung orderly, yung value of orderly, yung isang area doon is neatness. Tama. And that is on your physical appearance. Next! Okay. Diba, ano ko lang, dagdag ko lang. Mm. Uh, yung pagiging neat is ah. also a form of ID. Hmm. Identification natin, di ba? So magandang, ano yun, magandang maging practice natin. Kasi kahit naman wala kang binabadge na ID ah. na pinapakita ng badger ID, malalaman naman nila eh, by, by being by, by oh. being, just being neat, di ba? Eh, malalaman nila yun eh. Sa mga companies, di ba? Yes. Meron yung know, observe na proper haircut, may observe na. So, kumbaga, pagkaganto at ay, tatak, ganito yan. Ganyan talaga yung mga nagtatrabaho sa company na yun. Tama, tama. Di ba? May mga certain, uh, certain mga, ano ba yun, mga qualifications or certain na rules sa so dapat ganito ang itsura mo. Naalala ko lang po, yung binabanggit niya yung NIT, no? yung that is your ID. Uh, nung na-meet po namin yung kanyang teacher ng elementary, mm-hmm. grade 3 ba yan? Yeah. Um, uh, Mag-iba ba, ba yun? Oh, mag-iba, Ayan, grade sabi two, niya, grade 2. Grade 2. So, naging, ano, kumbaga, teacher ka rin po yung kanyang naging teacher. So, nakita kami, natuwa siya. So, kaming dalawa magkasama. Tapos sabi niya, alam mo ba yung si Ruel? Yan si Pastor Guboy. Alam mo ba yung si Ruel ng grade 3? Ha? Dadating siya ng, ng, papasok siya ng school. Ang linis-linis siya taga. Ang neat-neat niya. Alam mo, hanggang sa uuwi siya, lang yung mga kaklase niya, ang mga gusgusi na kasi laro na laro. Siya, naglalaro rin naman siya. Pero, makikita mo, malinis pa rin siya. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Totoo po yun. Hanggang sa ganitong uh, panahon, talagang neat siya. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Next area that uh, in learning the value of orderly is you need to be tidy. Mm-hmm. Ah, tidy with your things. Mm-hmm. Mula sa iyong higaan, mm-hmm. cabinet, kwarto, Hanggang sa laman ng iyong bag. Mm-hmm. How you tidy your things in your bag speak a lot about your personality. Yun. Oo, merong ano yan eh. Merong group dynamics sa bag. That. Yes. What's in your bag? Mm-hmm. Ah, ba? Diba? So, ang sarap kumilo sa isang kwarto o lugar na may kaayusan. Mm-hmm. Pati sa iyong mga gamit. Sabi nga ng mga anak ko, si mama pagbukas ng bag, si mama yung bag niya punong-puno ng pouches. May pouch ako sa ganitong gamit, may pouch ako. Sabihin niya ng OC ako, obsessive compulsive. Pero the 
that's not how I like it to be. Mm-hmm. Para maging tidy, you need to declutter. Magbawas. Magbawas ng kalat. Alam nyo po, ang aming bahay ngayon ay nasa kalagitan ng pagde-declutter. Yes. Nagbabawas. At yung mga, siguro nagtataka yung mga nangongolekta ng basura sa amin kasi twice a week yun, kada nangongolekta sila, box-box yung mga dinidispose namin. Uh, only to find out, nakalahati ng gamit dito sa bahay ay kailangan na rin pala i-dispose. Mm-hmm. So when you when you say the you learn the value of orderly, second area is you need to tidy your things. Mm-hmm. Okay? Tama. Next area sa orderly is you need to organize your schedule. Yo. Part of being orderly is to manage your time. Mm-hmm. Para mapaghandaan mo ang dapat ihanda, magawa mo ng maayos sa mga dapat gawin. Lalo na kapag ito ay patungkol sa inyo pag-aaral. Mm-hmm. You know, nandun tayo sa sitwasyon ngayon na everything is new. We are adjusting no, dun sa ating online classes. Uh, yung anak ko, yung bunso namin, yun na lang ang nag-aaral. No? Anak namin, grade 5 siya. He just turned 11. Siya lang naman ang nag-enroll. Pero alam nyo, feeling ko, nag-enroll din ako. <laughs> Kasi yung online classes niya starts from 8.30 to 12. Yung 8.30 to 12 na yon talagang ano yun, nakadedicate yun sa aking anak. Yes. Ang ang yun ang uh, priority ko, sideline na lang yung kung kailangan ko maghugas ng pinggan, sideline na lang kailangan maglaba and everything. Now you have to organize your schedule. Pag online ang classes niyo, all the more you have to organize why? Kasi nandoon ka sa comforts of your home. Diba ang tendency nun, pag nasa bahay ka, Relax. ang gusto mong gawin sa bahay, matulog. Relax mode. Relax mode. Kung Netflix. Mayan, Netflix, diba? <laughs> eh, may online classes ka. If you, you are a person who have to make a list of what you must do, then do it. So that this uh, so that you can be systematic and you can organize your schedule. Yes. To organize, make a calendar. Write a to-do list. Rank mm-hmm. your priorities, di ba? The value of being orderly will bring you to places. Mm-hmm. If you learn to be neat, to be tidy and organized, you will uh, also learn to be responsible on a lot of things. Tuturuan ka nito maging responsible. Yes, and responsibility oh. and being responsible is another value. Alain mo, pagka ginagawa mo pagiging uh, ginago ina-apply mo yung value of orderly meron ka pang isang value na na-apply and that is responsibility yes if as a student you have learned to be orderly i assure you as you start your career in the near future orderly will be one of the traits that will cause you to prosper or progress yes at yan ang hinahanap ng mga employers. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes, Those diba? Those are orderly. Take it from her. Siya po ay <laughs> HR practitioner. Oh, Parating meron niyang yeah. checklist na kagad. Ano yung hinahanap niya sa oh, isang empleyado? And uh, I can share with you one of our teachers na, na, na naging teacher siya doon sa former school na kung saan ako naging HR. Uh, nagpaalam siya sa akin. Nag-apply siya abroad. Ang kanyang profile, punong-puno ng kanyang uh, yung binibigay namin yearly na pang quality award. Oh. Pang quality award for the whole school year, this person, this teacher was never late. Mm-hmm. For straight five years, ano siya, Hall of Famer na siya sa pang quality award. You know what? Natanggap siya sa kanyang ina-applyan sa abroad. Ngayon, nung tinanong niya, kasi marami siyang katunggali, nung tinanong niya yung, ano, yung, yung nag-offer sa kanya ng job na as a teacher sa, sa Amerika, ang sagot daw ng HR doon sa school na yun, it is because of your punctuality award. That is why we have chosen. Wow! Bakit siya punctual? Bakit siya merong award na yun? Because she has organized her schedule. Hmm. Alam niya na sa ganitong oras, papasok na siya, hindi na siya malilay, pinaghandaan niya yun. And literally, her punctuality brought her to places. Yun. 
'di ba? Maaga ka lang, saan-saan ka na makakapunta? Oo, oh, oh, talagang yan. Tapos bumalik siya sa akin, talagang pinento na yun. At nakakatuwa talaga na, talagang ano na yun, may benefits din pala yun. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Ayun. Now, ito ang tanong namin sa inyo. Ang tanong <laughs> on the value of orderly. Okay? How do you see the value of being orderly to be important in your life today? Mm. Probably not only for for the students, no, for our uh, teachers mm. and uh, our admin people at DFM. How do you see the value of being orderly to be important in your life today? Mm-hmm. How can it affect your future? Yeah. How do you see the value of being orderly in BF Camp to be important today? Mm-hmm. How can it affect the future of BF Camp? Sagot kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, yeah. Nakaka-apat na tanong na kami. <laughs> <laughs> ano talaga sila? Uh, malihim. <laughs> malihim, ha? Ayun, share ang sagot. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Ayan. So tayo po yung tumuloy na sa ikalimang value. Yes. At yun po ay ang susunod, ang R. And that is respect. Yan. Respect. Ang sabi po ng uh, ang kahulugan po, when we, looked up, uh, when we look up respect, it means to show regard, to think highly of, and to look up to. Ayan. So, meron talagang inilalagay mo sa isang mataas na antas o pedestal ang uh, isang tao na binibigyan mo no binibigay mo ang uh, iyong uh, respect at uh, yun ay uh, uh, being respected uh, by important people in our lives that uh, growing, growing up, up teaches us how to be respectful towards others so okay being respected by important people in our lives growing up teaches us how to be respectful towards Others. So, ibig sabihin, mahalaga rin na kahit tayo yung nasa, uh, tayo yung mas bata, mm-hmm. mahalaga rin na nire-respeto rin tayo ng mga tao mas nakakatagla sa atin. Yes. Kumbaga sa society, kung kahit tayo yung mga nasa laylayan na ng lipunan, mm-hmm. dapat ay ginagalang pa rin tayo ng mga tao nandun na sa mas malayo sa laylayan ng lipunan. Yes. Mahalaga na ang respect ay binibigay mo sa lahat at hindi ito pinipili. Mm-hmm. Hindi lamang dun sa mas nakakataas sa'yo, mas mayaman sa'yo, mas matalino sa'yo, mm-hmm. mas magaling sa'yo. But even to people under you, kailangan ay mag- nagpapakita ka rin, nagbibigay ka ng respeto sa lahat ng antas ng tao dahil eh, ano naman yun eh kumbaga deserve naman yun at uh, magandang maging uh, ugali natin yun respect means that you accept somebody for who they are even when they are different from you and or you don't agree with them so merong merong antas ng pagtanggap kung sino sila kahit na may pagkakaiba at meron ding hindi pagkaka uh, ano bang agreement pagkaka pagkakaunawan or pagkakasundo ayan so it is uh, uh, out of respect no na, na, na binibigay mo sa mga tao na kahit may pagkakaiba kayo sa ideas sa pan- paniniwala sa pag-iisip pag ano di ba respect in your relationships builds feelings of trust, safety, at well-being. No? Respect does not have to come naturally. Ito po yung isang bagay na ito yung ating natututunan. Okay. At matututunan ibigay. ibigay. Uh, ipagkaloob sa ating kapwa. Mm-hmm. Yan, di ba? So, alam mo po, don't forget to have respect for yourself too. Mahalaga po yun. Uh, kahit na ikaw eh, may respeto sa, uh, binibigay mo respeto sa ibang tao, pero mahalaga rin, ano, yung, meron ka rin yung tinatawag na self-respect, yung sa iyong sarili, pansariling respeto, mahalaga rin po yun na binibigyan mo ng tamang pagkakilala ng iyong sarili. Kasi merong iba talagang, alam mo yun, sila, si, si, sila na mismo yung nagpuput down ng sarili nila. Oh. Wala na, gandito lang ako, Ayaw, wala na yung ano, wala na yung ganito, wala na, diba? So, 
alam mo, mahalaga, uh, mahalaga po tayong lahat. Uh, may kadahilanan na ang pagkakalikha ng Panginoon sa atin at nilagay niya tayo sa posisyon natin ngayon, eh, mahalagang maunawaan natin at madiskubre natin at ma-establish din na tayo merong sariling, uh, may, may self-respect tayo sa ating mga sarili. You know? It is also important to have respect for yourself. Remember na tayong lahat ay may halaga at tayo ay may saysay at may silbi. You matter. Tayong lahat ay may Uh, kumbaga eh, may, may, may kahalagahan hindi lamang sa iyong sarili sa ibang tao unang-una sa Diyos diba? mahalaga tayo sa Panginoon kaya mahal na mahal tayo ng Diyos diba? gano'n ang gano'n sa atin eh. gano'n ang uh, turing sa atin ng Panginoon what you think and feel is just as important as what somebody else think and feel about Uh, about you, about themselves. No? So, ending a relationship that isn't respectful is a way of respecting uh, yourself. yourself ba? Diba? So, isang bagay rin na dapat nating tatandaan yon. Mahalaga rin po yun. And respect is expressed in words and in deeds. Maraming pamamaraan na pwede mong ipakita ang iyong respeto. Ang iyong paggalang. Paggalang sa salita at sa gawa. Sabi doon, Uh, we can show, we can express our uh, respect in uh, words. Ayun, in words. <laughs> in words. So, you, you express respect when you say thank you or you express uh, gratitude or yung tinatawag nating I am sorry or yung po at opo. O yung uh, malasada na rinig sa inyo, <coughs> excuse, excuse me, me po. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? So, pwede nating iparamdam, ipaano natin, maipadama sa pamagitan ng ating mga salita. The best way to earn the respect of your peers is to show respect and kindness to everyone you, you meet. meet. Yan. Now that you have your classes online, respect is vital. Mahalaga po ito that all communication be respectful and free of ridicule. Oh. Ayan. No? So yung uh, mga pang-aasar, yung mga hindi magagandang comment. Oh. Alam niyo po. Yung mga nagme-make faces ka. Oo. <laughs> di ba yung, di ba, na, naging issue na ngayon, di ba yung mga cyberbullying, oh. di ba? Yung, uh, yung hindi mo pagbibigay ng respeto sa mga Uh, nararapat na mga gawain or activities or mga tao na what we are doing uh, online. Mm-hmm. Ako po, napakahalaga po noon. At uh, bilang estudyante, mahalaga po na matutunan nating ibigay ang respeto sa mga nararapat dapat pagbigyan nito. Diba? So yung mga comments na alam mo yun, nakaka-degrade ng pagkatao. Diba? Yung mga, ay nako, malapit na yan. <laughs> yung mga hindi pagbibigay importansya Oo. sa mga tao. Yung, kasi pag, pag binababa mo ang pagkatao ng isang tao, parang bin, bin, binabawasan mo o tinatanggal mo na ng halagahan ng buhay ng tao yun. Hmm. Pero alam mo, naisip ko lang, kanina to sa pinag-uusapan natin about self-respect, yes. diba? Alam mo kung hindi mo kayang igalang o respetuhin ang iyong sarili, mahihirapan kang respetuhin ng ibang tao. That's right. Kaya kailangan sa'yo muna magsimula. Dama. Kailangan matuto kang irespeto mo ang iyong sarili. So, paano gagawin yun? Simpleng bagay lang sa pag-iingat lang sa iyong pangangatawan. That is respecting yourself already. Mm-hmm. Yung hindi ka magsasabi ng mga masasamang salita, hindi ka magsasabi ng mga bad words, mm-hmm. no? yung mga nonsense, nonsense words. Mm-hmm. Ano rin yun? Isang bagay rin yun na alam mo na nire-respeto mo rin yung iyong sarili. Kasi mm-hmm. yung tinatawag ngayon ng mga kabataan na trash words, mm-hmm. dapat wala yun eh. Yung trash nil- talk? Oo, trash talk hindi yan dapat nilalaman ng iyong isip at ng iyong puso. So that is already self-respect. Now if you cannot do that, if you cannot start respecting yourself, then it would be very difficult for you to respect other people. That's right. Dapat bigyan mo ng kahalagahan ng iyong sarili kasi 
from this stems yung respeto mo para sa ibang tao. Oh. Doon magmumula yun eh. Mm. Hindi naman yun from the outside going in eh. No. It's ang motion nun, ang action nun is from inside going outside. That's why we are teaching you now. Yes. Oh. Because we want you to 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 learn to respect yourselves lalo na nandito kayo ngayon nagsisimula pa lang mag-bloom yes. ang buhay ninyo mga minamahal namin mga estudyante. Yes. Ha? Alala ko tuloy si ano si isikat na sa channel to dati yung yung sinasabi niya look in the mirror. <laughs> di ba? Ayan, eh, alam mo pag nahihirapan kayong bigyan ng pagpapahalaga at respeto ang ibang tao, it it stay it stems a problem inside you. Yes. I suggest right. look mas madalasan mong tumingin sa salamin. Mm. Tingnan mo sa mirror mo sa salamin. Oh, tingnan mo kasi mahalaga na ma-establish mm. mo, ma- maitaguyod mo yes. na ma-respetuhin mo muna ang iyong sarili. Lalo na pag ramdam na ramdam mo, bakit hindi ka ginagalang ng mga tao? Yes. Well, there, there definitely there's something wrong with you. That's why they are not respecting you. So look at the mirror. Mm-hmm. Mag-assess ka. Ano bang meron o ano ba ang wala sa akin at bakit hindi nila ako ginagalang? Yes. Ang sabi po ng uh, golden rule is this. In Luke chapter 6 verse 31, do to others as you would have them do to you. Mm-hmm. Eh papaano nga kaya kung gawin sa iyo 'yun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 'Di ba? Mahilig kang mag-trash talk, mahilig kang magbigay ng mga hindi magagandang comment, mm-hmm. hindi mahilig kang mambuli. Paano kung sa iyo gawin 'yun? Mm-hmm. 'Di ba? Paano kung sa iyo gagawin yun? No? Alam mo, problema natin ngayon sa kabataan ngayon, ang kabataan ngayon, ang kanilang uh, respeto sa sarili ay wasak na wasak na. Kung hindi wasak, napaka-hina o napaka-liit. Hina. Yes. Napakadali. Kaya nga alam nyo, merong, merong, kung, kung if you are listening to the news, watching news, reading the news, may mga estudyante dati, yung mga nagpapakamatay. Bakit? Kasi nabuli sa online. Mm-hmm. Na-cyberbully. Hindi nila matanggap na yung ano yung sinasabi ng mga tao sa kanila doon. And for them it matters, no? Yung kaya kaya sa kanila mabuti pang mamatay na lang kaysa kaysa ganoon, no? So, what if? Paano? Balik tayo natin ang sitwasyon. Gawin kaya sa iyo 'yun. Let's apply the golden rule. Kung gawin naman kaya sa iyo 'yun, ano kaya ang mararamdaman mo? Yeah. So, ang mahalaga, respect others as you would have them respect you. Kung gusto mong respetuhin ka, Aba, eh, respetuhin mo rin naman ang ibang tao. Respetuhin mo rin ang iyong sarili. Remember, respect is earned. It is given and it is valued. Ayan, pinagkaan yan. Talagang medyo sa larangan ng pagbibigay ng respeto o yung para ma-earn mo ang respect, medyo kailangan paghirapan mo. Kailangan patunayan muna mumuna na ikaw ay isang karespe-respeto tao. Ayan. So, yan po yung uh, uh, sinasabi ng Golden Rule. Oh, meron tayong hindi na, na pag-usapan, no? Yung respect in deed. Yes. So, oh, yung respect in words, di ba? Yung saying, thank you, yes. I'm sorry, excuse me. Yung respect in deed. Tayong mga Pilipino, ano tayo dun eh, yung kultura natin, mayaman sa ganon. Yung uh-huh. respect in deed. Yes. Nagmamano. Nag- Ngayon, parang matagal, parang hindi na natin masyadong nakikita yun. Yung nagpapaupo ng mga mga babae <laughs> yung mga elderly inaalalayan natin so respect indeed ba diba? mm-hmm. another thing is yun kasi dahil nasa kultura natin yun yung uh-huh. respect indeed na uh-huh. yung mga pagmamano pagpapaupo pag-alalay sa mga nakakatanda pero alam nyo po ba ang another respect indeed is yung gesture of Uh, pag sinabing maupo ka, you sit down. Mm. Yung pag-obey pa rin. Mm. Because of respect. Mm. Pag sinabing tumayo ka, alam niyo po ba ang anak ko, grabe yan mag, mag-respeto. Pag sinabi na ng teacher, tayo na kayo, lupang hinirang na. Online classes sila, everyday they have this lupang hinirang. Nakatayo siya rito. 
tapos nagpapanatang makabayan kahit na alam niya he, he, he tells me no nagsasara siya ng pito hindi man niya sinasabi verbally nagsasara siya ng pito siguro nahiya siya no? pero out of respect kasi sabi ng teacher ginagawa niya mm. diba? so, so uh, napakahalaga yun na you do you express respect in words mm-hmm. and in deed mm-hmm. So, bilang isang anak, mm-hmm. how can you express respect to your parents? Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? Mahalaga po yun na tayo nagbibigay ng respeto. Mm-hmm. Nagpapakita ng respeto sa ating mga magulang. Bilang estudyante rin. Paano kaya ngayon na tayo ay online classes? Paano virtual learning tayo? Bilang estudyante, paano mo rin pwedeng ipakita o pa- iparamdam ang iyong respeto sa iyong mga guru? Sa iyong mga classmates? sa mga namubuno sa paaralan, di ba? So, napaka ano po nun eh. Uh, essentially, eh, dapat ma-address natin yun at kailangan maharapin natin yun bilang mga mag-aaral. Kasi talagang yun po ang, well, hindi na natin pwedeng baguhin ang ating uh, kasalukuyan ngayon. Ano? Ito na po yung tinatawag nating new normal. So, the most we can do is, uh, since we are on this bus, we are on this journey, May make the most out of it sa ating mm-hmm. journey. At sa pagtaguyod at pag-establish natin ng ating values, kailangan kahit dito rin sa mga simpleng bagay na ito, simpleng bagay ng mga bilang mag-aaral, paano ba natin na ipapakita ang respeto sa ating kapwa? Yes. Uh, recap po tayo no, on our topic this afternoon as we revisit the personal values of our students. Yes. You excel with Honor. Excel okay. with honor. H stands for honesty. Okay. Yeah. And then O for obedience. Mm-hmm. Okay. N for nice. O for orderly. Mm-hmm. And R for respect. Yeah. We did that. Yeah. Excel with honor. Yeah. Honesty, obedience, nice, order. orderly. and respect. Respect. Okay. Yeah. So as we do the recap, with the many points we have discussed today, to summarize, you can excel academically with honor mm-hmm. or with these five personal values. Mm-hmm. Do not be contented to excel only in academics, mm-hmm. but instead aspire to excel in your personal values as well. Mm-hmm. Kanina nga kung natatandaan nyo yung unang-una nating pag-uusap, sabi nga hindi na namin pag-uusapan yung, yung excelling academically kasi alam nyo na yun eh. Mm-hmm. Kaya nag-dwell tayo yung excelling in Uh, the values which are yung represented no acronyms ng honor. Mm-hmm. You can excel with honor or with these personal values by applying them in your daily lives. Mm-hmm. Put all your learnings today in action. Take note that you are accountable to your own actions. Mm-hmm. Wala kang ibang sisisihin kung hindi ka magiging honest. Wala kang ibang sisisihin kung hindi ka naging obedient. Hindi ang sarili Hmm. Wala kang ibang sisisihin. Hindi mo pwedeng sisihin yung kapwa na nag-provoke sa'yo para hindi ka maging nice. Hmm. Hindi. You are accountable for your own actions. Another value din yun, yung yes. accountability. Oo. And, remember, remember yung mga ginagawa ng ibang tao sa'yo hmm. ay hindi mo kayang kontrolin. Yes. It only, we only, it only shows yung principle nating pantay na bubuhay. No? We cannot please everyone. Pero, hindi mo man makontrol ang ginagawa ng ibang tao sa'yo. There is one thing that you can control. And that is your response. Papaano ka magre-respond? Ano yung tatakbo sa iyong isipan? Ano ang iyong mga desisyon na gagawin? Ikaw ang may 100% control noon. At kung ano man yun, ang, kung ano man ang magiging response mo doon, pananagutan mo na yun. Yes. Paninindigan mo na yun. Doon papasok yung tinatawag nating accountability. Accountability. Now, when you do both excelling academically with honor and excelling with this honor values, yeah, I assure you, you will soar high and ultimately be transformed into a better individual. Sabi ni Ma'am Gina Guerra kanina, hindi to overnight. Yes. It is a long process. Yes. But you know, any process 
must start somewhere. Yes. Any process must start sometime. Mm-hmm. At kaya tayo nagkaganito, nagkakaroon ng gantong webinar because we feel kami na magulang, mm-hmm. mga guro ninyo na mga magulang niyo rin, kailangan ngayon na mangyari ito. Mm-hmm. Hindi na po pwedeng ipagpaliban pa natin ang transformation ninyong mga kabataan. Bakit? You are already creating the future generation. Mm-hmm. Kayo na yun eh. Ngayon, kung ngayon pa lang, kung ngayon ay hindi namin i-address ito, kung isa sa walang bahala namin ito, kung paano na kayo? Kaya nga. Tama. As we conclude our discussion today, I want us to reflect on the things we have learned. No? So, mami, uh, mag, pwede kayong mag-comment. Comment a sentence or two about what you have learned today. Ano ba natutunan mo? Uh, meron ba? <laughs> Bak- sana meron. Sana meron. Baka uh, naman mami, wala. Di ba? <laughs> Sayang naman yung get up namin. <laughs> oo nga. Oo nga. Di ba? <laughs> so, our desire is not only to prepare you mentally for your future or even yung academically I, we know na kayo kayo ay uh, kayang-kaya niyo yan but also to bring transformation think about transformation in your life as a whole so before we end uh, I would like to offer a prayer pwede ko ba kayong ipag-pray mga minamahal kong mga estudyante alam niyo po, napaka nandun po tayo sa crucial point ng buhay natin ngayon na, na yung paghubog sa atin ay hindi lamang dapat academics but also yung ating yung values na sinasabi ay dapat ay buong-buo dahil ito ang uhubog sa ating pagkatao. At dahil dyan, nais ko po sana kayong ipanalangin. So, Anayahan ko po tayong lahat. Tayo po ay uh, yung po natin ang ating ulo. At tayo po ay pumikit. Tayo po ay manalangin. Panginoon, maraming salamat sa oras na ito. Maraming salamat sa itinuro mo sa amin. Maraming salamat sa pag uh, pinuksan mo ang aming isipan, ang aming mga mata, ang aming puso upang aming tanggapin ano ang katotohanan ngayon. At ngayon ay isang buhay na inilatag mo na upang aming lakbayin. Ngunit alam namin, O oh Diyos, na hindi sa lahat ng bagay ay maayos ang aming pag-journey, uh, pag, uh, Lord God, sa mga seasons ng aming buhay. At alam namin, Panginoon, na uh, maraming bagay ay sinusubok po ang karakter namin. That is why, Lord God, we pray, patuloy mo kaming pangunahan sa aming buhay. Kayo po ang nagmamayari ng aming buhay, ang buhay na aming taglay ngayon ay pahiram nyo lamang, O Diyos. Kaya nga po ang aming panalangin, ang panalangin po sa aking mga minamahal, na mga mag-aaral, na way maintindihan nila, Lord, yung kahalagahan ng buhay na ipinahiram mo, na upang ito'y mabuhay, ma, ma isa pa buhay nila, ng buong-buo, no? live to the fullest, and live life abundantly. Dahil ito po ang naisin mo sa buhay, gaya ng itinakda mo sa John 10.10, na kami magkaroon ng buhay, buhay na ganap at kasiya-siya. Lord, I pray, patuloy mo pagpalain ang aming mga minamahal na mag-aaral ng DFCAM, na way patuloy nilang matunghayan, Lord God, na ang kanilang sitwasyon ngayon bilang mag-aaral at scholar ng lungsod ay isang napakalaking privilege and also a responsibility dahil pinagkatiwalaan mo sila na not only ng scholarships, ngunit ng mga pamamaraan upang sila ay mag-excel sa buhay, sa lakbayin na itatahak mo sa kanila in the future. Salamat din, Panginoon, sa buhay ng aming mga minamahal na guro na matyagang naggagabay nangunguna sa mga mag-aaral namin, Panginoon. Pagpalain mo sila, O Diyos, na way patuloy silang uh, maglingkod ng may may kaligayahan, may kagalakan sa puso, Panginoon. At gayon din na mag, uh, mala, maging malaki silang influensya at tulong upang hubugin ang buhay ng kanilang mga mag Salamat din, Panginoon, sa paaralan ng DFCAM, Lord God. Salamat, Panginoon, sa mga namumuno, Panginoon. At salamat po sa 
uh, mga taong iyong inilukluk upang maglingkod sa paaralan na ito. Lord, patuloy mong pagpalain ang bawat sa kanila, Lord God, at pagpalain mo ang paaralan na ito bilang isang institusyon na nagtataguyod ng buhay ng mga mag-aaral na hindi lamang matatalino kung hindi mga may mabubuting pagkatao na hinuhubog din nila. Salamat o Diyos. Salamat po sa pamunuan ng aming syudad. Salamat po dahil they have taken this into heart, Lord God, to offer this school, Lord, para po maging blessing sa mga mga mamamayan, sa mga mag-aaral po ng Las Piñas. Thank you, O Lord, sa araw na ito. Salamat po sa opportunity. Uh, I pray na ito po yung maging kagamit-gamit Panginoon, sa kanilang buhay as they journey on, Lord God, not only in this new normal, but in the days and years to come. Sa iyo po lahat, Panginoon, ang aming papuri at pasalamat at aming inaalay ang pinakamabu- uh, lahat ng karangalan sa iyong pangalan. Ito po ang aming panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig. Tapos na po ang aming uh, part. part. At uh, I hope marami po kayong uh, natutunan at nag-enjoy din in the process of learning in this afternoon's session. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Magandang hapon. Thank you, Pastor Zubo and Ms. Millie. So everyone, let's offer them a virtual clap. So again, <laughs> thank you for importing your knowledge and expertise to us and especially for emphasizing the importance of values in our everyday life. Also, thank you for sharing us on how to excel with honor. And as a simple token of her appreciation, I'd like to call on Ms. Eunice M. Parungao to present the electronic certificates to our speakers. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon po sa ating college administrators, uh, our dear professors, and of course our students. And of course kay Pastor Buboy and Miss Mili, hello po. It's good to see you again kahit online. Um, alam niyo po, before the pandemic, uh, may nakaplan na kami na activity nila Pastor Buboy and Miss Mili. Kaso nga, naudlot siya. So I'm very happy na this time natuloy itong uh, ating Values Formation Seminar. Okay, so it is an honor to present these e-certificates as a simple token of our gratitude to our speakers today. I would like to read through. Mag-share screen lang po ako. Ayan. Ayan, I would like to read through. Dr. Filimon C. Aguilar, Memorial College of Las Piñas. This Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Pastor Roel K. Espino, Jr. in sincere acknowledgement of his invaluable service as facilitator and speaker during the webinar on revitalizing student personal values a virtual learning and development through transformative student services via Zoom Cloud Meeting and Facebook Live on September 21 to 23, 2020, given today, 21st day of September 2020, Las Piña City, Philippines, signed by Ms. Eugenia Viguera, OIC President. And of course, for... For Ms. Mili, ayan. Dr. Filimon C. Aguilar, Memorial College of Las Piñas. This certificate of appreciation is presented to Ms. Mili Espino, in sincere acknowledgement of her invaluable service as facilitator and speaker during the webinar on revitalizing student personal values, a virtual learning and development through transformative student services via Zoom cloud meeting and Facebook Live on September 21 to 23, 2020. Given today, 21st day of September 2020, Las Piñas City, Philippines. Signed, Ms. Eugenia Viguera, OIC President. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. God bless you. Thank you, ma'am. And before we end, I would like to call on Mr. Emilio M. de Guzman, our Vice President for Administration, for an important message and challenge to our students.
Good afternoon to everyone. In behalf of our college uh, OIC president, Ma'am Gina Guerra, and my co-administrators in uh, DFCAM CLP, I would like first to thank uh, our speakers, uh, Pastor Guboy and Ma'am Mili Espino, for a very, very enlightening one hour of uh, discussions that we had today. I was expecting, actually, I was expecting a little more. nag enjoy ako sa na naririnig ko at uh, uh, sana lahat ng, uh, especially the students, sana ganun din ang kanilang naramdaman dito sa uh, one hour na discussion na binigay sa atin na mga pangaral na binigay sa atin ni Pastor Buboy at ni Ma'am Mili. Okay. I would like to end this, uh, this uh, proceedings in behalf of all my college administrators and of course our president to give this this uh, a challenge to to our students especially uh, uh, itong ating pinagdadaanan ngayon we know very well that is we are in very difficult times uh, napakaraming bago that we have to to achieve na even, not only the students but even the teachers are trying to learn so much uh, to, to be able to cope up with these new challenges. Okay. And in so doing, in our desire to achieve something, it, was, it is so easy for us to get lost in the midst of all the trials and challenges that we are facing. Napakadali natin na mawala, maligaw sa pakagustuhan natin na magawa yung mga bagay na dapat natin gawin. In our intention to succeed in our chosen endeavors, we often sacrifice our values, especially if they get in the way of what we want to accomplish. We become so consumed with our self-imposed mission that our moral so imposed mission that our moral moral values become less important than the things we want to do to succeed. Parang nilalagay na natin yung mga values natin on a lower priority kung hindi man natin totally kinakalimutan. Ibig sabihin, kahit gusto nating maging mabuti sa ating sarili at sa ibang tao, kapag naging hadlang na ito sa ating ginagawa, set aside muna natin yan at kailangan magawa natin itong mga bagay na dapat natin gawin. I will give you a very common example na halos lahat tayo nagagawa natin, simpleng-simple, na hindi pagsunod sa mga, mga batas na pinapasunod sa atin. Okay? Simple lang. Nala araw-araw nakikita natin pagtawid sa tamang tawiran. Alam natin na dapat nating sundin 'yan. Meron ng mga rules na nandiyan, mga traffic rules na nandiyan. Pero kapag nagmamadali tayo at meron tayong gustong gawin, binabayolate natin 'yan. Tatawid tayo. So, simple lang. Yun doon nagkakaroon na ng ng conflict. What we want to do, yun ang nagiging priority as against what we should do na tama dapat. Okay? Gusto ko lang idagdag doon sa sa para i-impart ko rin sa mga estudyante natin. Doon sa mga things na binanggit na ni Pastor Mi, Pastor Buboy at ni Ma'am Mili. Yung word na integrity. My very simple definition of integrity is knowing the right thing and doing the right thing. Whether you kahit na hindi ka mak but recognize for doing this, do the right thing. Even if you don't get rewarded for doing it, do the right thing. Maski walang nakatingin sa'yo, even when nobody's looking, do the right thing. Siguro kung i-embody natin yung simple, simple word na yan, hindi tayo magkakamali. Now the challenge that I pose to the students is, with all these trials and challenges that you will be facing, willing ba kayo to be successful sa gagawin nyo without sacrificing your moral values? That's the challenge that I pose to you. Napakahirap ng inyong gagawin, maraming bago, we know that. But in the process of doing that, kaya nyo bang gawin na hindi nyo isa sacrifice ang values nyo? That's my challenge to you. Thank you very much and good afternoon to everyone. Thank you, Sir Emmy. And to accept this challenge, may I call on our student representatives from both campuses.
Hello. Um, siguro let's start muna from the student represent representatives from the main campus. I would like to call on Ariel Policarpio. You can unmute. Hello, ma'am. Go, Ariel. Uh, hello. Uh, first of all, I'm Ariel Policarpio. I am from Section 17 in Marketing. I I believe that uh, I should not sacrifice my values to do the task that I that uh, someone or teachers professors that uh, will give me because I believe that uh, values are a staple or in very important uh, to to present yourself because it, uh, when you speak when you when you talk when you uh, when you speak to anyone that is uh, in front of you, you are presenting your values. So uh, you you are presenting your school. So if you drop that, yung kumbaga ano parang ina iniwan mo lahat yon para lang may may makuha ka. Parang hindi ka na din nagtiwala sa sarili mo. So dapat pag may gagawin ka, dapat uh, sinasama mo pa rin yung uh, kung ano yung natutunan mo, kung ano yung pagkakaintindi mo sa buhay. Kasi yan kay kaya ka nag-aaral, kaya ka nag uh, kaya ka pumupunta sa school para may matutunan. So, kung hindi mo siya i-apply sa buhay mo, bakit ka pa nag-aral? Kumbaga, ano, ba't ka pa nakipag-usap sa kong kanikaninong teachers? Ba't ka pa nagbasa ng libro? Ba't mo pa inaral yung history? Kung hindi mo naman siya i-apply sa buhay mo. So, I believe that values should be uh, should be implemented. Kumbaga, isa sa buhay mo siya, gawin mo siya sa lahat. Yan lang naman po, ma'am. All right, thank you, Ariel. Next is, uh, we have Aubrey Duarte, also from the main campus. Um, good day, everyone. I am Aubrey Duarte from Section 1A, and I am but, and I am major in financial management. And so, I believe that I, that values is the best. I mean the the great is greater than anything. Kaya, I think dapat inuuna talaga yung values sa lahat. Kasi, um, kahit sa pag-aaral, dapat inuuna natin yung values. Kasi, kaya nga tayo nag-aaral, di ba? Kasi, inaaral natin yung values. And, I also believe that um, wisdom is greater than knowledge. Kasi, without without Applic without sorry um sorry um I believe na yung hindi walang walang patutunguhan yung alam mo kung wal, hindi mo siya i-apply sa buhay mo so yun thank you thank you Aubrey Okay, from uh, from the IT campus naman po, we have Richmond Aringo. So, ayun po. Good afternoon po sa lahat. I am, from, I am Richmond Aringo from IT campus, PSIS first year section 2. Um, I accept the challenge po, but and, yes po, ano, um, I think yung values po na binigay ni Pastor Buboy and ni Ma'am Millis, the pathway po para maging the pathway po uh, para maging ma ging inspiration po tayo or ma-achieve po natin yung mga goals natin goals natin as a student and also po being um magamit po natin yung um binigay ni God na um, knowledge po sa atin di ba po may binigay po siya sa ating pag-iisip to use it but for nating lang po and I think yung values po na ibigay po yung isyonar po nila, Pastor, is yung magiging daan po natin para maging successful na estudyante, maging successful na anak, at maging inspirasyon po sa iba. Yun lang po. Thank you. Thank you, Richmond. 
And another one po from IT Campus, Ms. Veronica Amasa. Good afternoon, everyone. Para po sa akin is, um, hindi po ako willing na isacrifice yung values kasi isa yung sa mga importanteng dahilan kung bakit tayo nag-aaral. And naniniwala po ako na ang pag-amugay po ng bata is nagre-reflect yun sa pagpapalaki ng magulang. So kung wala po tayong values, para saan pa po yung lahat ng ginagawa pa natin? Ganun Thank you. Okay, thank you mga first year representatives. Ngayon, for the second year naman po, represented din sila today. Okay, thank you Veronica. Okay, so represented din po ang iba sa ating mga, meron tayong representatives din from the second year. So from the main campus, Reagan Barrientos. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. So, I am Reagan Barrientos and I am a second year student or second year representative of the DF Camsi LP main campus and also um, I am accepting this challenge na hindi ko po isasacrifice yung values ko para po sa mga bagay, sa mga bagay-bagay po. And also, I know naman po na napakahalaga po ng napakahalaga po ng mga values natin because hindi po, ito po yung madadala natin in a real world. Kahit na gaano ka po katalino or kahit gaano ka pa ka-excellence ibang bagay, pero kung wala ka naman pong attitude, bali mawawala po yun lahat. So I think that is the most important thing that we have po. Yun lang po. Thank you. Thank you, Reagan. Next po, Ivory Casten. Good afternoon po everyone. I'm Ivory Casten from second year section 3. So, I also agree that we should not um, only excel academically, but also we should excel in our daily lives. Ayun yun nga po, um, through um, prioritizing our values. Because yung values, kapag inuna mo po, everything else will follow. And yun nga, gaya ng sabi na iba, um, anong silbi ng iba kung hindi mo naman uunahin yung values. And I also would like to thank um, everyone for this webinar because it's also a reminder for us. Kasi po, paulit-ulit po eh, naririnig po namin yung mga honesty, obedience, nice, orderly. Kaso parang um, through this webinar, we were also reminded na during this time, during this pandemic, na it this is the time na It's important po na ma-develop namin yung ganong values. And also, yung honor. Kapag sinabi mo na honor, parang thank you po kasi um, when we think about honor, ayun, parang madali na pong maisip na yung ibig sabihin yung sa acronyms. So yes, I also accept the challenge that we should not sacrifice um, our values in order to achieve our goals. So thank you po. Thank you, Ivory. And now we will be hearing from the second year representatives from the IT campus, Mr. Prince Toledo. Good afternoon po, ma'am. Good afternoon. I'm Prince Toledo, representative from BSA Sporting. Um, yes, I accepted the challenge being a good student. And others to encounter the challenges of distance learning from struggling to understand assignments and getting easily distracted to not having reliable internet. Because if you have, if you have told me a few months ago that I will be trying to go to school, and I will have to call you crazy about to go back to my school. Eh, ang budget po ma'am, kasabi sa budget, paano maging isang magdating na mag-aaral upang maging matagumpay sa buhay? Kaya tayo ay kailangan matutok. 
dito upang maging isang mabuti mag-aaral sa bawat aspeto ng buhay. Ang pagiging isang mabuti mag-aaral ay nakakailangan ng labi sa trabaho at disiplina sa sarili at maraming mga paraan na isang mag-aaral ay maaaring makilala mula sa natitirang klase. And ang mga magagaling na mag-aaral na ito ay nakikilala sa kanilang pag-uugali sa kasanayan sa intellectual kamalayan at nakamit. And, at ang pag-uugali ay pauna yung isang tunay na pagnanayos gumawa ng mahihirap na gawain pang akademiko upang makamit ang pag-unawa. Pinakita rin ito Pinakita rin ito kung gaano ka sa ilipat ang iyong ang ating sarili kaysa mga aksidag asignatura ang kung saan wala kang kaunting interest at kung magkano ang makakamit mo kahit na estilo ng isang guro ay hindi tulad ng nakasanayan mo. Ayun po, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Prince. And next po, Ms. Trisha Bell Balasta. Kasi kailangan po yung values ang buhay kasi values is uh, one of the very important aspect in, uh, in our life kasi yun nga po nasabi nga po yung kailangan natin mag-excel yung honor sa bilang pagkatao kasi po kinakailangan din po natin ito for being one of the best model in our campus tapos ano naman po yung hindi natin nga ay yung values natin sa ating buhay? Paano natin ma-achieve yung goals natin kung wala yung values na alam? Ganun. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And last, we would like to hear from our third year representatives who are all members of the Student Council. Uh, let me start with Kate Labaklado. Hello po. Good afternoon po sa ating lahat. Um, ako po si Kate Labaklado and I am accepting the challenge po as a student and a student leader po as the Student Council President of TFCAM CLP Main. And with regards po with everything that is discussed, I believe po kasi that character building is always essential than the academic excellence itself. Kasi yun po yung dadali natin. Yun po yung dadali natin hanggang sa dulo. And I believe po na dapat hindi, hindi i-sacrifice yung values. Kasi kaya nga po di ba na sinasabi sa atin pa ulit-ulit, yung values and yung morals, hindi naman po yun, hindi lang natin yun makikita sa books eh. It's not in the books. And um, it's very essential for us all to adopt and I know po na this would be really difficult, even a lot more difficult para po sa, sa atin ngayon dahil nag-undergo tayo sa new normal. And um, knowing the students na they have their freedom, um, we, we all do have our freedom of speech and all. So parang iniisip natin na wala naman pong pakialam yung ibang tao kung ano yung makikita nila dahil social media natin yon and all. But this is a good thing po na na-inform kaming lahat ng mga students sa limitations pa rin po ng freedom na meron tayong lahat. And um, I'm grateful po of hearing the, the the words po for today and I am accepting the challenge. Yun lang po. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Now we have Bile Montalbo. Uh, Good afternoon po everyone, and I am Billy Montalbo from HRDM 3rd Year Section 2. And I have this one mantra po, and that mantra is, uh, knowledge can bring you somewhere, but attitude can bring you anywhere. So what I mean to say is, uh, nandyan po tayo, nandito po tayo kami mga student and student leaders sa school para mag-aral to gain the basic knowledge on things, on technicalities, on work. Pero once na po na nakagraduate kami and nakatapak na po kami sa work environment, it will be somewhat useless if we ha do not have our interpersonal skills or values as a word. Kasi po, napaka 
as uh, discussed and as said by uh, nung mga nauna po is attitude is a lot better po talaga a factor on life it's a big factor na kapag may pag wala kang attitude o masama yung ugali mo it will uh, bring a downfall to your life kaya dapat po uh, for me character building should be prioritized kasi kahit anong talino mo wala po talaga yun kung talaga may attitude ka and for that being said I accept the challenge Thank you, Billy. Next, we have Lily Bell Angeles, the third year representative of the Student Council. Yon, good afternoon po, everyone. Uh, well, I am, ay naniniwala po ako na mad madaling maging tao, pero mayroon pagpakatao. Then, I will accept also the challenge that we will don't need to, to sacrifice our values in order to achieve our goals in life. Because uh, being a good person or being good leader as well is be uh is being important or essential in these days so being a a student leader also we will also adapt to adapt to this these challenges in this in the present times so again i will accept this challenge despite of the challenges that we have and i will don't need to sacrifice my values thank you po thank you lily bell and last but definitely not the least, Mr. Ren Solero. So good afternoon po everyone. I am Ren Vincent D. Solero, third year Section 10 Financial Management. So about po sa challenge na are you willing to sacrifice values to achieve your goals? Um, for me po, no. Kasi um, para po maging successful, you need to be disciplined and well-mannered. Dapat po yung attitude mo is maayos. And para po maatin yung mga yun, um, showing values should not be mandated or hindi po dapat pilit. Kasi showing values should be a responsibility for everyone, especially for students like me. Kasi um, sa panahon po ngayon, hindi po sapat na magaling ka lang para ma-achieve mo yung goals mo. You should also, uh, you should always excel with honor. So with that being said, I am accepting the challenge po. Thank you po. All right, so thank you to our student representatives for accepting the challenge on behalf of the whole DFCAM CLP student body. Ms. Cherry. Yes, thank you, Ms. Sinit and the students. I hope, again, you will live up to the challenges. And again, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to Pastor Buboy and Ms. Millie. Thank you so much. And also, we would like to thank our college administrators and our webinar organizers. So, we have our OIC President, Professor Eugenia Viguera, our Executive Assistant to the President, Professor Elmer C. Alvisete, and our Vice President for Administration, Mr. Eugenio de Guzman, and our Vice President for Academic Affairs Office, Dr. Raymond B. Magno, our Dean for IT Campus, we have Michelle, Engineer Michelle Pupulion, and also our OIC Head for the Student Affairs. We have Ms. Eunice M. Parungao for our main campus, and Mr. John Marilio for the IT Campus. So thank you again. Um, this is a very um, beautiful afternoon and very inspiring. So I would just like to give uh, a simple reminder to our students. Uh, please accomplish the post-activity evaluation and survey form. So we will send the links later to your class advisor and also we will post it to, I mean, the link to our DFCAM CLP Office of the President. So thank you once again and we wish you a good day and God bless us all. Thank you.